Hello my friends, I hope that you are doing well. Qu'est-ce que qu'est-ce qu'il qu qu est où alors l'éléphant Ils sont ils sont ils sont ici les éléphants. So you see I'm here in uh, Galerie Lafayette in Canton, you know. And I'm uh, on, on, on the floor where you have the watch. So I'm uh, just, uh, you see, uh, and just on my right, you can see uh, Asian uh, vendor, you know. And you can see, uh, maybe 80% of the customers, 80% of the customers are chi uh, Chinese, you know. Most of the customers are Chinese. And something that um, you, that I think is, it's a fair question to ask, is it really good for the French government? Is this really good for the French government? Again, unfortunately, I have no real figures, and this will be a video that requires a very uh, more, you know, more uh, more research. You know, but when you think about it, huh, you see, uh, 90, uh, 80 percent of the customers are Chinese. Okay, so when you think about it, you say, you say, okay, it's good. Vas-y, le ramasseur, le livre You think, okay, it's good. Uh, it's a good way to make money and. Uh, Uh, we're selling French products, made in France products, and we're making money for the French government with French companies. But then when you look inside, uh, you see most of the brands here, many of them, they are not French. Or they will be French companies using the French image, but they will produce low cost in other countries. So you have... I'm really not sure, it depends. But you see, you see for instance, for ARV, most of what they produce is not produced in France, it's produced in Eastern Europe. And then they will put it together in France and they will have the Made in France logo, motto. And many of their products now, they don't even care. They have Made in Poland, Made in Italy, they have other, other you know, it's not produced in France. You know? um, so you can, you can really ask yourself, Is this really making money for the French government? Is it really good for the French society? You can really ask yourself, you know. <laughs> oh, don't think about that. Don't we? He shot, he shot, he tombed. Oui, il est tombé. Ouais, he shot, he shot, he tombed. He shot, Honestly, honestly, I believe, I believe it's not making money for French government. It, even it might be losing, might be losing. See, Chinese founder. It might be losing. Why it might be losing? Because nine saleswomen out of ten is Chinese. And when I say Chinese, I mean they are really Chinese. So they are the young women who came, come to France, they study in France, and then they stay here because they can work here. And then they will get the visa. Then they will get the visa, then they will stay here, then they will have, have a kid, then they will stay in the country forever. And that's what's, going, what's, that's what's happening, and it has been happening for the last decade. So, uh, is it good for the government? If you think about it, it's going to cost. On one side you have the cost, on, your, on one side you have the expense. Attends, j'arrive. On one side you have the cost, on one side you have the expense. Okay, the cost. You have to pay. You have to pay for uh, maybe the studies. You have to pay for the help. You have to pay for for the, when they get the kids. You have to pay, to pay, to pay because they are not very wealthy. They will work here and they are not very wealthy. So you have to pay a lot of money. Uh, so it's not very positive. On the other side, yes, we we are going to make money. Companies are going to make money, but are they going to pay tax here? No, most of them avoid the tax. Most of them don't pay the tax. So. It's very deep. It's very deep subject. Huh? Who knows? Who knows? But when you look at the brands, only a, a small share, maybe five percent, ten percent, is really is really coming back. And then when you look at the salary that they give, okay, they give mainly to uh, foreigners, you know. And then uh, it's low salary. So, is it really good? It's good for the big companies who are here, uh, for these big LV group, or for these big groups, but. Uh, and, and that's that's how they work, and they're selling to the foreigners. But uh, for the government, you don't know for sure. For the government, you don't know for sure. Um, and then you have also the museum or everything that belongs to the public. When you have the tourists, you have something that the tourists they will damage. You know, they come, they damage. Of course, I damage. Everyone damage. You need to go to the toilet. You need to go there. You touch this. You touch this. So it will be cost. Cost for repair. Cost for toilet. Cost for upkeep. Cost. And then. Uh, You can really, you can really ask yourself: Are they, are they really matching the cost? Who knows? On one side, you will say, okay, because they pay the, they pay the hotel, they pay the restaurant. Yeah, but most of these hotels belong to Chinese people. They bought back. Most of the bus companies belong to Chinese people. The Chinese tourists, they go in the same, same circle. 
so it doesn't benefit many private companies okay there are Chinese people who are in France so you can say they pay the tax so that's good so it's the part of the tax Paul tu restes ici parce que papa il a hey Paul tu restes ici hein voilà because my kid is going away so that, that's also something that you, you have to wonder. And then, you know, what they will do is the museum quite often are free or they will manage to cheat the museum. That's what I explained about Louvre. So they will pay one ticket and uh, they will manage to have 10 people use the same ticket in one day. 10 people use the same ticket. So you have 10 times the upkeep cost because every tourist that you have, maybe will touch, maybe will this. So you have upkeep cost times 10. In the end, is it really making money? Is this really good for the government? Who knows? Who knows? And this is nothing new. Huh? This is something that I often uh, discuss, even for the French company in China. You know, they say, okay, French company are here is very good. Are they really French? They don't recruit even French people. They don't create jobs because it's all about jobs, right? If this, otherwise, it's, it's, there's two aspects. There's two aspects to it. There's one aspect is about creating jobs, and the other aspect is about creating money for a small number of people. But they are not the majority, there is the 1%. Huh? The 1% people who own these big companies, who are the, the CEO of these big multinational. Then you have all the rest, and the rest is just creating jobs for them. But if you don't create jobs for them, you know. Uh, okay, well, I leave you.